Let's continue with some case of the golden idol. We're in chapter three and it seems to be getting freaky. The strange practices of a secretive society. The hell? <laughs> Why is he in a bush? Mm. The tattoo depicts a hand and an eye. Load a pistol. David, the gathering will be on March 14th. To follow, to follow our plan, we should be there at least two hours before midnight. Tag will arrive in full costume. Grab rope and weapons. WK. That's not David. Could be David, actually, with the, the tobacco. To David Goran for reliable service from EC. Let's assume this is David. Just doesn't look like him. Yeah, it says it's wrong. So that's not David. Shabby form of coat, dagger, hat. What's with the killer music? So I'm being dragged. Let's go inside then. Brothers wear masks appropriate to their house. The dark hands, the proud beast, and the water snakes. He's a proud hand. One of these looks like a dark hand or proud piece of water snake. Well, that's where ropes are probably to the rank, master, steward, and initiate. Just don't do it. Master, January 5th, 1789. I went on the oldest mission to reclaim our fire breathing relic and with great resolve punished the despicable enemy. I, with a few brave companions, fearlessly entered his here hideout in a remote hunting cabin. But the devil had prepared a treacherous trap and an explosion slaughtered my dearest friend as we entered his study. Thanks to my sturdy physique, I survived the blast only to be assaulted by the enemy's lackey, assassin warrior David Gurren, and a pack of bloodthirsty hounds. Wait, I just realized I've been drinking from a very cold soda. A very, very warm soda, rather. After an hour of fight, I received numerous deadly wounds, in spite of which I prevailed and defeated my assailants with my martial training. I discovered the enemy's dead body, slain by the trap of his own making, but no trace of a relic. I'm forced to go into hiding because the government's watchmen are tracking me. Once I've recovered from my deadly wounds and shaken off the watchmen, I'm sending my next report. May the griffin awaken. Walter Keane. So this is Walter Keane. I don't know. Masters, I must apologize of as of October twentieth. I must apologize a thousand times for my absence. But my road to recovery was full of peril and valor that cannot be sufficiently conveyed in writing. The government dogs and spies chased me tirelessly and I was forced to take refuge in Aquitania to recover my still dire wounds. There I finally bested my pursuers with the help of Lazarus Hurst, the young resourceful gentleman whom I met in a remote manner one dark winter's night. Not only did he earn my trust by stepping into the fray against surveillance, but he turned out to be a well versed be well versed in the arcane arts, of course not yet close to us your skills. I finally recovered and plan to return to Albion. I suggest that Lazarus will be a fine addition to the order. I vouch for him and will invite him to undergo the appropriate trial. Could it be that guy then? Illuminated Masters, January sixteenth, nine seventeen eight ninety. I object to the admittance of the individual Lazarus Hurst to our brethren. I submit that our dark hand brother, Walter Keen, who vouches for him, cannot be trusted because he's, he's a liar and a thief. I'm certain that on dispatching our enemy, he kept a golden fire breathing relic for himself. Not for really move me on this, he must produce a relic, apologize personally to me, and afterwards be expelled from my brotherhood. Well, that's silly. 
It's not him either. Let's go up. Ritual of Squabble. Only initiate can be defender and accuser. So it must be borne by any dark hand. Requires decoration of the whole. Grim Reaper, never ending teacher, the feet of mouse. Ritual of conflict. The cues must deeply hate the defender. The sword must be borne by an initiate. Required decoration for the hold, the never tiring teacher, the keep of treasures, the mirror of soul. It's not mirror of soul. Someone's dead. Everybody's well one swearing in. Ritual of Dispute. Holy stewards are high rank and we defend an accuser. The scepter must be borne by a water snake master. Required decorations of the hall, keep a treasure, never tying teacher, the Grim Reaper. Ritual of Discord. House of the accuser and defender stand behind their brother. The scepter must be borne by a dark hand master. Oh, this is where I just like. Uh, why? It's got a bit too serious. Done when an accuser has challenged the defender. Both drinkers must be barefoot. The substance is added depending on the severity of the accusation, including deadly poison. Add the substance to the one of cups. Defender chooses first. Accuser chooses the remaining. Both partake in wine cups. So, someone died. Drank the poison. Right. The Grim Reaper, the retiring teacher, the feeder mouse. Not sure what that means. The griffin has spoken. A tray with a vial, small vial of unknown substance. The griffin has spoken. The griffin has spoken. Still a tank with some wine in it. The man in the mask is not breathing. Let's await the results from the chamber below. Griffin has spoken. What can we deduce here then? It's the ritual of That's a scepter. It's that dark hand then. I think it's Discord. Two cups on a stone altar. They contain some wine, but are almost empty. That's silly. What the hell is up with these? Prepare to receive what you've earned. February 10th, 1798. It's an old letter. A member of our order has proposed a new candidate to join our brotherhood. Our brother's trustworthiness, however, has been challenged. Therefore, we have decided to take measures to resolve the fate of these individuals if the brother proves himself again and vouch for the newcomer. If the newcomer survives the appropriate trial, he will join our ranks. You are must join our gathering on March 14th and fulfill your role in rights of the brotherhood. Council of Masters. I signal to Griffin who I am. I accept my fate, whatever it may be. Inception. Gotta be. If 
But who is that? Who is that? Who is that? That's Lazarus Hurst. Hmm. I have every every note. Who is this? It's a dark hand. He's going to be a proud beast. Now. Uh. So just guess what it is. That's gonna be David as well. That's completely wrong. So this is probably not. I don't really have the names of the other ones. Oh, I'm watching this. Um, that's where it's Hurst. Inception, so it's probably these two that's wrong. Uh, but I don't have the names of the other ones. Oh, it could be a Power Beast Master or a Master Proud Beast. That doesn't make sense, does it? Hmm. Be a steward. I messed up a proud beast steward. So I just steward. So, proud beast. There we go, we got it. Almost had it, but, you know. Alright. Still don't know who this guy is. Oh, wait. It's initiate. So it's a uh, dark hand initiate. There we go. I was thinking name. So I don't have the names for any of these, but Bow Beast. Um that was a Dark and Master. Oh yeah, Proud Beast. Uh Dark Hand Water Snake. Master Steward Initiate. Okay. Well, that was the proud beast. Could be a uh, way around. This is a proud beast, and that's a dark hand. No. Could be wrong. Which one's wrong? Steward, that's a green coat. 
This must be initiate. Hit. Yet something's wrong. Is this not a water snake? That's definitely a power beast. But if I change this. Not what I wanted. That feels wrong. Let's say why though. Hmm. Oh well. So, dark hand. Let's put dark hand on all those. Uh, proud beast master. So that's a water snake master. Dark hand initiate. That's a dead water snake steward. Right. Steward, steward, and a Water snake initiate. What's wrong here? Hmm. Dark hand, dark hand. There's one of those trick ones where one of them becomes steward or rather master afterwards. That one is optional though. Something like that. It's gonna be terrible. Meanwhile, Lazarus has passed the uh, inception ritual to become a what was it, proud beast initiate. It's quite wonky sometimes. Killer music. Correct. 
correct and correct. What the hell am I missing here? Wrap rope and weapons, which is here. Well, that's definitely David. So David's in here somewhere. Barefoot, only two are barefoot. They're supposed to be that because of ritual. Does I guess work at this point? Kind of helps. Not a duck hand or a snake. So it's not the right one. Oh, it's a squabble one, of course. Squabble. So close. It's dispute. Why is it dispute? Of course, because it's scepter. All right. I still have no idea what this one was. Challenge to a and the dispute he with also keen chance of dispute he with David Corin ambushed uh, a
dark hand initiate. <clears throat> David Curran posing as Dark Hand Stewart Two Signal Two Walter Keen with a Which which cop had no poison. Also keen. No, Jeffrey Sinclair drank the other cup and died. Steward, there was only one thing that was wrong, no hint access, I'm alright, even though I'm doped up on painkillers. Ow. After being challenged to a ritual with potentially deadly consequences, Walter conspired with David to devise a plan which would ensure his own safety. He captured a Brotherhood member on his way to the gathering. David took his costume so that during the ritual dispute he could indicate to Walter which cup was poisoned. Therefore, Walter chose to save Cup and his opponent drank the poison and died. Crowning celebration by a lighthouse. <coughs> Griffin Rebirth. The one who claims to be a Griffin Reborn must perform a miracle. If someone repeats the miracle, it is proven that it was not a miracle but mere magic. Layman's punished with death. If no one can repeat the miracle, the masks fall. Claim is crowned as Griffin Reborn. In 1725, the first Dark Hand Lord Harrington demonstrated flying. Jumped off to a cliff to his death. In 1756, Proud Beast Master Lord Pletsley performed a seance talking to the spirits. Lord Angus McBain repeated a miracle, proving him unworthy. So they're all lords. <sighs> Eat the rich. In 1764, Dark Hand Master Lord Jones demonstrated the creation of Homunculus. Lord Angus Main produced a Homunculus as well. In 1771, Proud Beast Master Lord White carried out the homosis of a servant. Lord Angus McBain hypnotized the same man as well. So there's been no reborn griffin. That was an actual micro miracle. Unbelievable bull. So there is a griffin reborn. They didn't even believe in their own freaking cult. And does Griffin Reborn reveal himself to his brothers by demonstrating a true miracle? 
Kneel before Griffin Reborn and make ready. I will lead you brothers to create many changes. Miracle preparation. After the input, aim at the sky, press lever to maximum position, hold for at least 10 seconds. At this point, the idol should be full enough to perform the miracle once. So they're using the uh, idol. Miracle hypothesis. The water works better, but the better... The, the effect is not as convincing, therefore, that thing. Main challenge is ensuring my balance when holding on to the idol. Practice is paramount. Save the notice upon pulling the trigger of the glyph in Proto Springville. We've read this before. Nice to maintain his balance. He yeah, brought you back your staff, oh Griffin Reborn. Golden snuff box filled with opium powder. The golden idol is enclosed within the handle of an ornamental cane. May 14, 1761. Uh, these threats to contact the chief inspector about my past offended me greatly. Being an honest soul, I have no choice but to comply. Sorry. With your base demands, I may have invited Lazarus into our brotherhood, but he has not shared all these secrets with me. Luckily, I had an opportunity to see him practicing this miracle. He has a magical artifact hidden in his cane, and performed a miracle he input the column cliffs. I press a small lever on the handle of the cane, and it grants him the power to demonstrate the miracle. <clears throat> I have no doubt that the staff will work just as well in your hands as his. Sincerely, Dark Hand Steward. Which one's Angus? What an honor to experience such a historical event. Protocol of an attempt to demonstrate a miracle. June 23rd, 1791. Gazing the lighthouse on Gull Islet near the Horn of Codhead. Time noon. That's Nicholas Maker. So it was Angus McBain, uh, Lazarus, Lazarus Hurst. Who's a doctor? Who's this? This man is not breathing, has a severe wound at the back of his head. His arm appears to be broken. Water Snake Master. April 13th, 1791. Lately I've experienced disturbing dreams and I feel cursed. Are you the source of this with your magic? Desist immediately and know that when pushed, my rage is absolute. I'm not toy with the well being of the Empire's general, for I do not tolerate being attacked. In my many voyages, I've learned the dark arts too. If need be, I'll summon a thousand invisible demons to crush your bones. Proud Beastmaster. June 15, 1791. Dear friend, it's not so simple for me to get you a seat alongside me on a court of directors at the Seven Seas Company. As a doctor, I recommend you stop obsessing over it. It'll only unbalance your humours. Let's discuss the alternatives at the next party at Kensington Palace. Both his legs appear to be broken.
Oh shit. I almost want to say this Angus being the odd one out. Be a water snake, a brother maker. As the director of the Seven Seas Train, coming out, do not assess work applications. Please go through your facial challenge so my staff can evaluate your credentials as my an attorney. Clark and Master, JT. Throwing in names now. Ah, uh, what was the last one? James Turner. Check upstairs first. A guy in a lighthouse, she got the Empire. Trap door that connects the staircase to the top of the lighthouse, not locked. This is a tough one. Why would he be carrying a seal? So first, now these three. Because we can switch these two around. Ooh, that did something. Yep. But I killed Angus McBain. So Angus McBain, black, oh, black male to. Um, Oh yeah, he blackmailed. Blackmailed Walter Keen. Walter Keen. Find out how to how Lazarus uh, first we'll perform the miracle of Griffin. What's a reborn? Rebirth. So it must be rebirth, a uh, reborn. No, wait, 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 wait. It's a miracle, it's not the ritual. So he. Ew. First guy who had it would have been 
That's what he says himself. As you can see, Mark Bain had it previously, and then now Walter Keane has it. Wow. Let's see if we can figure this out then. In Angus Bain, death from a lighthouse. No, head wound. Ah, oh, this makes little sense. Lazarus Hurst. Okay, this one is about Angus McBain's death. So this would be the miracle. He jumped from the loud house using the idol to demonstrate the miracle of flying and became the great friend reborn. Um, pushed from um, Oh yeah, because he had to prove that Magnus McBain he had to prove that the ritual wouldn't work or he could do it as well. That is why he died. He wasn't pushed anything. He did it fully believing it was fake. Okay. When Lazarus Hurst jumped from the lighthouse and survived using the hidden golden idol, Mass Angus McBain thought he had enough information to repeat the miracle and prevent Lazarus from becoming Griffin Reborn. He seized a star from Lazarus and locked the lighthouse door to prevent foul play. However, he did not know all the secrets of the idol. It did not work for him and Angus jumped to his death. How many chapters are there? Um. The interrupted weekend at the doctor's salon. Do we know any of these? Know that guy, that's the... Oh, they forgot. <laughs> Tea house, chess house, croquet field, library, saloon, flower beds, flower beds, fountain. Oh lord, I did not expect something like this in our household. Slightly grassy garden she is. This is such a mess. I will clean the blood out of the rock. I think he might be high. Ha, Leopold, your plan to frame Patui. Patu is sublime. But your missing button is more than enough proof that he did it. Constable, please escort this man out. Clean doctor scalpel. He's a doctor, yeah. Full class sherry and an almost empty class sherry. Another poison? Or a bottle of sherry. Seals of the Twelve Liberian Clans. James, this is preposterous. You know damn well he was killed by that Lemurian savage. Dear friend, May 8th, 1792. May now that the election's over, please join me for a Leslie weekend at my manor with good old Ang August Sus and some other fine fellows. Have some drinks and discuss what to do about a Prime Minister position. Can you confirm your presence? Dame Dr. James Turner. Why can't I grab Dr. James Turner from here? This is, an out this is outrageous. I thought you were an honorable man, Leopold. Not some Ukrainian agent trying to sabotage our friend relations with Lemura and provoke a conflict. He stole his life just like that. The doctor is a smart man since he saw through his lies. Now, one of the balls who said that he would love to meet someone actually interesting. I'm having a weekend of drinks at my manor and a prince from the 11th clan of Lemur will be joining us. Please do ask the honor of your company too. Can you confirm your presence? 
Hmm, I hope the host did not notice me when he was leaning over the sleeping iPads, gentlemen. Spicy smelling ornamental box. Clean Lemurian War Club. Dear Prince, as you know, I'm a great aficionado of the Lemurian culture. It would be my pleasure to invite a member of the Patu clan to spend a Leslie weekend at my estate with some of our political dignitaries. Can you confirm your presence? Dear Prince, I heard that he got invited to a party by the director of Seven Seas Company himself. No, he hate associating with these invaders and thieves, but this might just be the opportunity that we seek to reclaim our honor. Psychoactive plants. Spotty onion, an illusion of unity with the universe. Increased appetite. Hiccups. Black puppy, sleepiness. Whites of eyes get a pink tint. That's it. He's on black puppy. Lemur and lichen. Hyper concentration on one thing. Loss of perception of time. Rapid blinking. Red berry. Search of energy. Organization of all your thoughts. Twitching aggression. Oh, boomerang. Listen, apologies for the shouting match yesterday. Let's continue the discussion at, at noon, Leo. May 8th, nine, uh, 1792. The elections are over, so let's uphold tradition and have a Leslie the weekend at my place with you and Leopold to discuss the Prime Minister situation. Please join us on May 12th. Can you confirm your presence? Arthur Falkner. Two prints. Oh God, believe me, my lord, I do not feel comfortable arresting a prime ministerial candidate, but I must ask you to follow me. Oh shit. <laughs> my, my brain just melted. Had a glass of sherry with James in the library and became drowsy. As he was falling asleep, saw the Lemurian observing him through the glass door. Woke up, found a butler on the floor asleep. Woke up the butler. Entered the salon. Saloon? Sa sa salon? Found a body. But in expecting the weapon deduced the Lemurian was the murderer. Instructed the butler to raise the alarm. Claims that. Played croquet with Urkin in the morning. They got bored and went to, to drink tea in the tea house. Urkin drew his attention to an interesting design of the chess house. Saw so Lord Alistair Cock, lecture the butler, Master Turner. Uh, Cock is that guy then. Uh, so Master Turner come back to the chess house and send the butler away, just as Urchin was remake, remarking on the beauty of the chess house. So Lord Alistair leave the chess house and return shortly afterwards. Slightly difficult to understand what he says, particularly because he has challenges with our language. Claims that everything young Master Bell says is absolutely correct. Who is Master Bell? Oh, location of them, okay. He drank a glass of sour sherry bl bl blanket in the library in the morning. And he went to the chess house where he found Lord Alistair and the butler. Ordered the butler to clean up the library and get rid of the bad sherry. He spent the rest of the time playing chess with Alistair until the alarm was raised. And B as the master of the house led the interrogation of the suspects. In the morning he practiced chess at the chess house and educated the butler on his lack of military training. Sometime in the afternoon Dr. Turner arrived and sent the butler away. Played together and he was very close to winning when the alarm was raised. That means I should know the freaking titles of them. Served Lord Alistair in the chess house in the morning. His master arrived and instructed him to dispose of the spoiled sherry that the Lord... 
the he and Lord Leopold had drunk and then go to assist Mrs. Spade in the garden. Uh, on entering the library to take away the glasses, found Lord Leopold asleep. Sullivan was overcome by dizziness and faint due to his weak heart. Swung by Lord Leopold and raised the alarm. Then saw the deceased lying in the saloon. I still don't know who the deceased is. Claims that planted and pruned all morning by the chrysanthemum bush. Saw the young gentleman and the foreigner leaving the croquet and go by in the manor. After we moved to a rose bush from there, saw Lord Angustus leave the fountain at around noon. Continued his work on the rose until the alarm was raised by Mr. Hill. Not like I said, new order party, moderates, loyalists. Would be the new prime minister, election results. New order party have the most MPs, but it's clear that the old two old parties will form a coalition. This means either loyalist leader Blanket or moderate leader Valentine will become the prime minister, leaving Lazarus Hurst and his party in the opposition. I've we'll learned about Lazarus Hurst. Santiago Bushes. Unfinished croquet match. Two cups of spicy smelling tea, one almost empty and the other one untouched. And chess. I think we have everything now. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I keep trying to uh, mute, but never hits. It's the painkillers. Um, don't know what any of these people are. Gardner was outside. The butler was sleeping. He's in the saloon. Doctor was. Not sure. But he was found by. Leopold. What's Leopold's last name? So Leopold is not the victim. That, thank you. James Turner and Alpha Cock, is that it? The Gardner is the Billiam character. Yes. William. No mention of a last name as far as I could see. Hmm. Probably going on about this all. I'm doing it like a game rather than a detective.
it's blinking so much. I keep thinking it's the Edmund Butler, but it's not. Oh, goodness. Let's figure out who the freaking butler is. Mr. Hill. Mr. Hill's the butler. He raised the alarm. So that's the butler over there. Hill. It's I, I get overwhelmed with all the information. I should probably just do one step at a time. Served. That's Patrick. Patrick. How do we find his name? Mr. Spade. Oh, right there. Okay. So that's Leopold. Uh, did we have a last name for Leopold? Be a friend, that's all. He's also on puppy. Is that the tea house? That must be in the tea then. Tea house. So that was a Butler. Not when the body was found. Who found a bottle? Who found a. I don't know. Um, what's his name? What's his name? Blanchard, of course. I remember now. Arthur Cock. No, that's Alistair Cock. Gideon. Alistair Cock here. Yeah. I don't think. It's the only way on one. I'm gonna go with another guess on that one. Bell. So that one is shit. I don't feel like there's been any mention of this guy's name. But I have everything. I was just, just deducing which I haven't used. I've used Arthur. I've not used August. Valentine. All right. That was fairly close, but who could be this one? Yes, it's that one. So this Augustus Valentine using a 
boomerang because it's bloodied. Let's find the saloon by Leopold Blanchett. Oh, how about this one? It's just guesswork. I, I can probably figure it out when it's optional. Not even close. Let's see how wrong I was. I wasn't half wrong. Early in the morning. Oh. Oh, I hate it when there's so many blanks. Early in the morning, blank, 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 in the blank and blank, a blank. Okay, drank a glass of sour sherry blanchet in the library. I became drowsy. So... James... Turner didn't mention that he poisoned it, so I'm assuming that he poisoned him. Drugged. Leopold. What was his name? Blanchard? In the saloons, right in the background. And... What did he do? Missing button. This is that one. Button. Meanwhile, in the This one's hard. Well, that kind of puts him on uh, the uh, murder list, murderer list.
Pretty drunk. Must be twelve here. That's only eleven, and he got one of them, so he must have stolen that one. Seal from the saloon. Still don't know. We dropped in the. Someone's framing someone. He stole in the saloon. Uh, Bill was following. Gideon Bill was following the two around. Uh. Saloon around noon, that's where we found a body. Someone killed. Very close to winning. Suppose. Who the hell killed? We know these two are in the same cult. This is the odd one out. This is the odd one out. So these two are probably blaming that guy. So that's James Turner and that is Stag Cock and that is Leopold. I say Alistair Cock and uh, killed. His name was August. Valentine and framed the no the button planet button on him to frame um Leopold Richard probably wrong why is that so close I feel like it's almost guesswork. I suppose I have something. 
What do we think is wrong? The house. The other way around. This feels right, doesn't it? Could still be that. Check the mistakes. In the library, of course. So close. Brotherhood member Alistair and James Blood turned the ruling mother at loyalist parties against each other. Over the course of a weekend at Man James Manor's house, Alistair murdered the moderate leader and James framed the loyalist leader. You have proven that I can trust you. Here's the Brotherhood's artifact which I removed from the traitor Keen. I said to take heat from this cup of water. Then I changed the symbols and made the idol give that heat to something else. But there's so much more that the idol can do. The new order. Oh my goodness. It's not so relieved that they decide not to push any fashion charges. Hope the process is not painful. This tribunal is a farce. They spread lies that my love is merely lust, and what do they even know about true art? I felt my bones that I should have drunk less. I mean, poor souls experience God's wrath. It's a thing of beauty to see order prevail. If it were not against the first virtue, I would feel very happy. Nicholas. I'll wager you feel the new regime rewards your diligence now. Tell me why I saw you spend more than three shillings on new clothes. I've asked you to lend me money and you said you had none to spare. I suggest you lend me some now unless you want me to write you up write up an official report about a fourth virtue breach. Your beloved brother. Mr. Nicholas Maker, birth year 1757. Occupation record keeper of the order party. History of infraction and obedience. Label a protocol as being on Thursday, even though it was Wednesday. Took a double length lunch break in their office. Loyal service and low ranking position to the order party. 10. Merit. Plus 10 merit. Total merit. Plus 4. Oh fucking hell, this is a dystopian nightmare. <laughs> Weekly order party of People's Tribunal. 40, the 42nd. March 14th. 79.5. Six culprits are brought to the tribunal. The tribunal is opened. Each culprit's charge is evaluated. Merit charges changes calculated. First culprit's merit extractions exaction starts. Second and third. Oh bugger. I've seen never seen so much merits removed in the tribunal. Some mistakes are very costly. I'll be in Frank Banknote. Mr. So David Gorin. Force of the Elder Party. History and Factions had a secret compartment in his office locker. Denied the existence of the secret compartment. Loyal service in low ranking position to the Elder Party. Remember the third virtue. 
Remember the second virtue. There's loads of sloth and whatever the fashion one is. The man's not breathing, no apparent wounds. Prince of dusk, like night, I am dark and full of terror. Do not fear love, do not make that error. When you know my name, just look up for my face. Is that it in here? That is music to my ears, Alistair, but do control your emotions. We as arbiters of order must never violate the first virtue. Is it a, a government of... Ah, I forgot the damn word. Like a government that's against emotions. It's all about order. I've been frank banknotes. Oh, my mouse went faster. Dr. James Turner, arbiter of the order party. Drank a full bottle of brandy at a picnic. Kept the book Legacy of the Rose Dynasty his study. Loyal service to the order party in high ranking position. Dear Dr. Turner, I must regretfully inform you that during your absence from party business, your senior assistant Daniel has demonstrated extreme untidiness and thus breached one of the virtues. Junior assistant Toby. Oh, that's a lot. What are you insinuating, James? I've never breached the fourth virtue. You know damn well that I keep no secrets. The Arbiter Cock. I'm writing to inform you that our regiment's colonel was seen with another officer's wife in a potentially intimate situation. We implore you to send your agents to investigate this potential flouting of the first virtue. Arbiter of the Order Party slapped the sergeant in anger, listened to marching music in his manner and loyal service. Four years, I think. Oh, yes, very, very sweet. This, what the hell, Mr. Fanga Quinn? Charges claimed he had no wife, has a painting depicting a naked person in his house. Broke his wife's favorite teapot in anger. Was observed spending a night with the neighbor's wife. Oh, goodness. Walter Keen. Learned three times with different married women during the party convention. Wore ridiculous headgear at five public events. Okay, who's who's the judge of this? Claimed he had not betrayed High Arbiter Lazarus during his ritual of ascendance. Expelled from the party of order. Or a party, party order. Love how Richard had a dinner party a few years ago. Where he offered a large amount of wine to his guests. Got angry during the questioning and shouted at the High Arbiter. Revealed the whereabouts of his hiding fugitive descendant and daughter Mary and her husband Peter. Oh, snitches get stitches. Left his work at Tannery early, drank excessive amounts of gin at the Scrawn Cat, drank excessive amounts of rum at the Old Oak. Approached a married woman with an indecent offer, denied four times during question that he had done these acts. Count Horace Webb has not held it down a down job since the new regime, evaluated as 60 instances of non work. Ow. Claims he works in his castle, helping his servants clean it. Possesses 15 books. Kept in his private library. Oh, no books. The government of needing to keep people downtrodden and uneducated. Expressed willingness to donate his castle to the party. Hmm. Two and plus merit. Duke. He's a duke now. Duke Gideon Bell. Wears an outrageous hairstyle, broke down in tears ten times during the questioning. Has refused to start working, evaluated as a five instances of job skipping. Rejected the high bidders, request a share information of a secret entrance to a castle of his cousin's... Cousin the Sovereign. Hmm. He 
something lost. Fourth virtue is passion. Four maxims of virtue is written on the wall. Observe the four virtues to avoid losing merit. Silence, you will perform your function as much as is required. It is paramount to ensure order in our new society. That's currently blank. Remember the second virtue. Store confiscated objects and evidence according to the virtue breached. Okay, drinking as well. Uh, what is the second virtue? First virtue is yes. A lot of these are optional. Violin and the portrait of Gideon Bell painted by Jasmine Nightwings. Oh, that's a cool last name. Title stories, book title Autumn Tales. Hmm. Not true, High Lord Arbiter. I would prefer storing no more than this. And then I guess it's here. 19. Okay, 19, uh, so it's only three years. Uh, 1792, when he gained a majority in Parliament and liberated our government from multi-party chaos, the all the parties worked hard to improve society. Despite the vast popular support for the party, His Majesty refused to acknowledge the authority of the party's tribunal. High Arbiter Lazarus Hurst has announced that in two months the party and the supporters will participate in a peaceful march to the King's current residency to demonstrate the virtue of moderation. Not moderation. I am honored to help the party upkeep the four virtues. I only hope sitting here all day does not count as sloth. What's the third bulker? Music's so cool. Second virtue is sloth. I think the first virtue is moderation. Third is I do fashion. Of oh, uh, third. Fourth is diligence, I'm assuming. Now there are worse jobs than this, and thank God tobacco is not considered an indulgence. A bit boring though, too bad literature is forbidden. He got tobacco on him. Indulgence, maybe? That's all of it. Shit. Oh. 
That's when you say how many you start out with. All of these are optional. Let's figure. I'm passing all the seas by doing a tribunal. Last largest merit. The Ducks Null Tribunal to execute his permitment. I assume the idol was used on him and he lost I think sixteen. Yes. I assume. Cause this one has sixteen on it. I'm just basing that on nothing I must admit. Emotions. Mm. The beauty. It just seems like such a weird virtue. For virtue is truth, of course. So all lies, secrets, and literature. Secrets and literature. That reminds me of the freaking uh, party from uh, what's it called? V for Vendetta. So yeah, beauty, that's art, uh, fashion, music, seems like. Uh, fashion. Then we have this one. Oh, let's do this one first. This is already there. That's lost indulgence and emotions, it seems like. Indulgence. They do not like mistakes or untidiness or being sloth, as that guy said. How is that possible? I, I, um, I don't know. These are essentially algebra, and I'm afraid that <laughs> I'm not good at it. So, yeah. No apparent wounds. God's wrath. There's nothing about God in this. It's a terrible ploy. All right, we almost have this. During a tribunal, wait. Bring a Quinn. Seems to be Gideon Bell, right? Gideon 
fell. So close. Not his merit. Deduction old tribunal history to execute his punishment. Idol was used on him. I don't know which how many years he lost. Should that be it? It's just gonna be guesswork. Oh, it's probably based on this. I'm not good at math. I might look this up. It must be based on the merit. Actually, double check that. Is that the one? Is this one okay? <laughs> brute force more than <laughs> I'd rather brute force than do math. Apparently, oh. <laughs> thankfully it wasn't something low. I wonder what the sixteen is about then. The order party seized power now enforced the full maxims of virtue. The young Duke Gideon Bell was judged during the tribunal to have lost 88 merits. The habit of the party last rehearsed used the idol to decrease Gideon's youth by 88 years, thus making him 108, which resulted in his death. The slight delay in the peaceful march to the king's castle. Okay. David Goran, since his success at the Mermaid Inn has proven to be a resourceful and discreet professional. Cowardly but dutiful, useful up to a limit. Pompous and vain, but being a military man is ready to obey and ready to kill. James Turner, greedy and hedonistic, requires constant material observation to cooperate. Also keen, ambition and inventive, but treacherous as many smart people are. Lazarus, you took 32 things from me. I demand you return them. If you refuse, I will make the story of your true origins known to other party leaders. At half eleven on May 15, meet me at the place the idol was stolen. Our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death. Come along and bring proof something personal of yours to give to the veiled woman. Tell your replies to the pigeon and release it from the cage. It will find me. Lazarus Hurst. His comrade Lazarus has not yet returned for several hours. Comrades Alistair and James have gone to find him. If they do not return, we'll organize more search by to find the lost. The regime is to fall. It has taken everything from me. Has to fall. 1798, 95, I'm sorry, 1795, May 15, Capital Route Morning Report. At 8, a new fangled insurrection carriage passes by. At 8.30, an individual insurrectionist 
uniform passed by on a new two wheel contraption. At 10.15, two individuals in interactionist's uniform pass on horses. In fact, he's a spy. Why are you not working, you worthless piece of garbage? I'm doing the same thing I saw Lazarus do during the merry executions. Slightly dented saber. He's using the... Uh... That's not gem in it, or... Just not active. Slightly dented saber with some blood on it. A man in a helmet with numerous cuts on his body, not breathing. Belchester Castle. Blah, blah, blah. Port. Oh, shit. This was the place in the start of the game. Pile of mangle and burned corpses. An empty cannon. Newly invented transportation device. Damn, are you, damn you, you cunning devil. You will find me in the place where we two first met. There we can talk. Empty pistol, loaded pistol. Oh, I recognize that voice. It's you. It's a project that you've fallen for the same trap as you did all those years ago. Straw men are your bane. The dust canned steward. Dear husband, you're so brave and you have been drinking since early this morning. But what will we do now? What if the evil government men find us? Come to pure flower that I know you can be for me, Edmund Cloudsley. Dear Mary, I know where your unworthy mate is hiding you. Soon I'll free you from his dirty pawns, paws and ship him to colonies, while you, I will put you on a pedestal of sweetest praise and become my ideal wife. For you, I would fight the tiger, Peter Badley. Mary, my uncle Cloudsley died in some robbery, and I'm rich. Now your father will see me for the man that I am. Let's marry. That is Peter. Worry not and continue the feast, wife. Nothing can stand in my way. I would kill our enemies wherever we go. Almost empty whiskey flask. Horse face, betting slip. He's still betting. I have some small but pressing business to attend to at the propriety of our late brother Sebastian, the previous proud beast steward. I'll be back at the camp for our 10 o'clock strategy meeting as planned, Lazarus. The heavy seal, that was James Turner's. If I remember right. It's just a ship. Hey, it's Yen again. All those order rats sitting around here, this is, so, this is no good. I hope they'll just blackmail me and fuck off. You still got lemon. <laughs> Then line room, A Day Baker, forget me not room, Walter Nort. Nonsense, I'm not an idiot, but real men like us could beat those order party ninnies even without any weapons. But I heard rumors you lost a cannon while gambling. Do you think they'll try to kidnap the king? Me and my employer are getting out of this blasted country. Hey, it's easy. It's uh, Edmund uh, Corsley's handkerchief. I've instructed him to arrive at around half eleven. Host, likely. Most likely. He'll be in order party uniform. If he comes alone without any backup outside, approach him. If you give you something that belonged to the to the one who escaped your tonic, you may proffer him the instruction slip I gave you. Conceal your face, he may recognize you. I'm missing something. Oh, 
Oh, I haven't been inside. Scarecrow with a hole through its head. Put a lot in the wall. My pigeon. I admit I may have treated you unjustly after our long cooperation. I've come alone in peace so we can discuss our compens uh, your compensation. Okay. Do we have a kind of an idea what's going on? Early in the morning. I suppose Nicholas, right? No, not Nicholas. What's his name? Lazarus. Well, I think Nicholas. Lazarus Hurst went to the um, One of the two, thirty-two things. Where did he go? What's with the horse anyway? It's the loudest click in the entire freaking world. I have some small but pricing person to attend to. The last the horse was Lazarus. At the property of a late brother Sebastian. We know he worked, lived at a manor. Two. What did he want to do? What does this even mean? What are these? Are these locations? Okay. I think. No idea what that means. That's the tight current time. That's a contraption found at that place. That's James, James and uh, Alistair, whatever his name is. Assume fight. Afternoon went to the two because tried to get back his something. Lost wife. Hmm. 
Hmm. So he went to this place. Everybody's dead there, at least three. Map of some sort. trap hmm. lost a cannon while gambling that's the cannon over there, owned by this guy. Wait, 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 wait. Is Lazarus Hurst Edmund? So they have met up. Oh, that's, uh, that's the one I wanted. And if that makes sense, well, it kind of clicks, doesn't it? Because she has a book from Edmund. But no way your unworthy mate is hiding you. This, this is current. Edmund is supposed to have died long ago. So I'll free you from his dirty paws and tip to the colonies. Like, and if he has that power, that's probably Lazarus. And Lazarus Pitts. He's become young using the uh, idol. I thought he was going to be the good guy. Ideal wife. Okay, okay, let's try this. Uh, early in the morning, last of her went to Manor to kidnap their wife, Mary. I'm gonna assume badly because he's married to. Oh, Mary, Mary. Mar married to Peter because. No. Is that a repeat? It just feels so weird if this is a repeat because Lazarus Hurst. Why not just say he? feel so smart all of a sudden wanted to have the ideal wife oh oh the others were optional apparently oh whoa a full storm in the king's castle with the order party, Lazarus Hurst led his men to Sebastian Cloudsley's old manor in order to kidnap his long lost love, Mary Badley, Nee Richards, who was hiding there with her husband, Peter Badley. 
Upon answering the manor, Lazarus and his troops were confronted by a drunk Peter and the cannon he had won while gambling. Peter blew up Lazarus, breaking the idol, and then flipped the scene with Mary. Hey, weren't you with the other party? Oh, no, no, I was never part of that ghastly organization. Oi, I can take this gilded brass trinket for scrap metal. You can have free so for it and call yourself lucky. Epilogue. Man, it's not briefing. Donate to a veteran who lost his leg in the noble defense of his homeland. Half empty bottle of gin. Witness the power of the idol in my hands and swear loyalty to Lazarus Hurst, who will battle the ideal society. Brotherhood of Masks. Only one thing is worse than imbeciles. Imbeciles with power. The rich and noble have a social cup with mystical rituals and all the hogwarts and are so stupid that they did not realize when they had some truly miraculous technology in their hands. However, they are influ influential and persistent and have already caused a great deal of harm to me and my goals. What well, Lokin has told me more about the organization and practices. If he tells the truth, they and they are truly devoted to the religious ent entity of Griffin Reborn. I could gain some powerful allies for my next move. Order Party Manifesto. All citizens are equal, except when they're not. All citizens must serve society to the full extent of their abilities. The citizens must be evaluated according to how virtuous they are. Society with internal contradictions is unsustainable. Effort must be led by the most virtuous citizen. King should sit, step down, the aristocracy must be abolished. The virtuous citizens are better able to serve society, therefore virtuous citizens deserve to gain more time on this earth, and bad citizens deserve to lose time. This is unbelievable, my pure Mary has joined in matrimony with that clown Peter Batley. She must have done it out of grief for my death. Such a hasty decision goes against every principle of, of virtue. Therefore, I consider the marriage null and void. She will come to me once she learns I still live. But for now, my dues in the service of humanity take precedence. So ties he must be built on the principles of virtue. Only does can become truly great. Look at the Lemurians. Thousands of years ago, they had an empire, in the, had an empire on the banks of seven seas. Their intertechnology continues to baffle modern science. But they became inert and decadent. Forgot how to build and operate their machines. Empire crumbled because it was built on pleasure seeking, not virtue. It's by divine providence that I got my hands on a working ancient Lemurian artifact, the Golden Idol. I've used this power to set humanity on the right path by building the ideal state. I swear, yes, with these powers, I'll do what it is necessary to build a better world. Yes, my lord, I swear my loyalty to you and will undertake whatever tasks are required of me. David, I thank you for dealing with all the challenges relating to my death and for keeping an eye on our new ally. To feel I have impressed him not only with the Golden Idol, but also with my vision of the ideal society. Come to our hideout November 24th. Be ready for our next step. Sebastian closely left the idol to the uh, who did they leave it to the Brotherhood but then then who hmm on someone's orders, stole the idol and identity stabbed 
uh, the Brotherhood tasks also keen. No, not to punish. Pretty much guessing at this point. Who hmm. stole it? I can't remember. I almost want to feel accidentally stabbed. Who was it that stabbed? I never really realized that Brotherhood was apart that early. Who was that got stamped? Maybe. Wallet. Right. I appear to have completed, but the other ones are required as well. Is this a bug? Let's uh, figure this one out. During one attempt, uh, who was captured? Also, Keen was captured. Um, my game appears to be broken. Why is my game so broken? Um. That's a funky bug. Let's just restart it quite quick. I want the epilogue because then I can't figure out if I've understood the game. Yes, a second. It's coming up. La la la. Music's really cool in this game. See, there are two other DLCs as well. Most likely not going to play these because I will have to ex get the game and then get the DLCs. Playing this through Xbox Game Pass, which is why it came up in my uh, backlog. Okay, Walter Keen was captured. 
And Edmund Cloud can convince him to join his side. Yes, we know that. Um, Edmund. Yeah, Edmund used the idol to make himself young and infiltrated the Brotherhood under the new identity of Lazarus Hurst. Then he claimed to be Griffin reborn, transformed the Brotherhood into the Order Party. Nice. Brotherhood Masters, um, Alistair Cock and James Turner. Helped Lazarus Hurst. She's part of the and enforced the rule of virtues by taking away youth from common people and giving it to the Order Party members. Right before his final showdown with the uncooperative king, uh, Lazarus Hurst wants to kidnap Mary. Uh, badly, but was shot by Peter. Badly, and uh, her shoes was broken. No, it's very close though. Idol, the idol was broken. There we go. We did it, friends. Game is over. Roll the credits. That was a fun game. Good story. Um, I have never played quite something like this. Like this would be like a adventure game in the old game, uh, in the old times, the nineties. There was a lot of deduction I think I got on chance. Um, I feel like I could be a lot more sure in some puzzles. But it just kind of fit when you do uh, progress of elimination and all that. If you like these type of games, get it. Puzzle games, get it. Um, Discord detective community. Oh, that's awesome that there's such a thing. Yeah, like detective games. Do it. It's a fun alternative history kind of thing as well. And thankfully... The evil people died. That's it for me.